I'm Sophie Julia, and we are here outside Blake Bortles' house of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He's the quarterback, he's the man in Florida, he went to UCF, killed it there, and we're right on the beach here. It's actually really nice, even though there's nothing in Jacksonville. So let's go inside. I hope he's cool and that he has a good sense of humor. Hey! Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. You too. Wow. Look at this. Come on in. Oh my God. I can't walk on that. You didn't build this wine cellar, right? No, I came with the house. You wanna go down in there? Yeah, should we go down there now? I mean, this would be my favorite part of the house, except Later. that I'd never walk on it. Okay. There's no like handrail? How do you get down there? Just walk. <laughs> Just walk? Yeah. I don't know anything about wine. Well, I'm gonna have to teach you. I know Silver Oak from Napa Valley. You know that's good. What yeah. kind is it? So I've been told. A cab. That's my favorite. Open it up. Can we drink when we wrap? Can you what? Can we drink one when we wrap? Yeah. Tonight? Celebratory wine? Yeah. Of course. Only if you do a good job. All right, so this is like absolutely stunning. Can you check out that view? And it's not even a nice day and I still like it. I know, it's been pretty crappy weather. So you've lived here for how long? I've been here for, um, I bought it like mid-July mm -hmm. and then we started camp so I moved into a hotel um, for a month. So I've really only been here for a little over a month and a half I think. It's very beachy cool, like there's sailboats and it says the beach and the anchors. And now you're from Florida. I am. So you're like a total Florida boy, like you like fishing, uh -huh. boating, uh -huh. country music, uh -huh. hunting, yeah, sure. alligators, mm -hmm. like swamp shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm like into country. Who's your favorite country artist? Um, I like them all. I like some of the new younger guys, like Dustin Lynch and Thomas Rhett. Uh huh. I like, I think Sam Hunt's good. Yeah. Um, you like sort of look like Sam Hunt right now, especially this I? outfit. What about these pit stains? But don't show that. Well, you gotta let it air. You gotta air that because then people are gonna be like, "Oh my God, he's fucking sweating." So at least Do if you want to change your shirt. <laughs> then <laughs> you gotta just let it go. So who hangs out in this room the most? So this is uh, this is like after games for sure, like family and friends come. Like who do you invite over from the team? From the team, you know, mostly the single guys, because a lot of guys are married with families, mm -hmm. so they're not around football. Um, they have to go spend time with their families. But me and Chad Henney, he's an exception. Every mm -hmm. now and then his wife lets him out of the house. That's um, nice of her. Yeah, so it's good. And then some of the younger guys. So are you a big TV guy? Um, I am. What do you think? I think, uh, like TV, movies. I'm a big movie guy. Do you binge watch on Netflix? Um, well, all right, actually, so I got away from Netflix because I found this thing called a Dragon Box. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's legal or not, so I don't know if you can use this, but okay. it's like this. It's like a black market Apple TV, really is what it is. And um, You can't afford Apple TV? No, I can, but there's only certain things on Apple TV, right? Dragon Box has every show or every movie like that's ever come out as soon as it comes out. Oh, wow. So it's like super uh, illegal, I'm sure, because you can watch movies that are still in theaters, but um, I've been watching on that. Um, oh, you decorated for Halloween? I did. You like my little pumpkins? That's really cute. Yeah. Did you And this one too? Uh-huh. Did you like sit here and draw on them? No, they were uh, three for five at Walmart. Oh. Mm -hmm. So do you cook? I do not. I can, uh, like grilled cheese and cereal, I got, but besides that. <gasps> what? Are these custom for you? No, I think Jacksonville uh, beer cans? So this is your beer of choice, Bud Light, or are you paid to say that? Uh, no, no, I don't, they don't pay me anything. I mean, So you, maybe could. you should say it. Blake Bortles' favorite beer is Bud Light. Bud Light. Maybe you'll get a little endorsement deal. <laughs> You shouldn't drink these, they're really bad for you. Um, I don't, just occasional Jaeger bomb. No, I don't. Mm, what's, a, what's in a Jaeger bomb? Okay, uh, also there's body armor. Drink body armor, the, uh, Kobe tweets that all the time. Yeah. What does this do for you? Uh, I mean, superior Kobe hydration. It, so, yeah, superior. So if Kobe drinks it, you drink it? Yeah. 
Do you hope that one day it's like if Blake Bortles drinks it? I'll I drink am. It. I'm actually sponsored by them. Ah. I mean, I'm not near as cool as Kobe, but we're like so. You kind of say we're coworkers. Very What's cool. like the grossest food combination you eat? The grossest thing I eat? Yeah. Oh, I, I kind of like. I love food. Mhm. Mm but. Um, I don't think I eat any gross combinations. I kind of just eat everything together, though. Sometimes people think that's weird. What do you mean? Like if you like, like you made with all kind. Of, no, but like if you made a meal, I would just, you know, I like it all together, kind of like a, a stew, a pot, a mixture, you know, because it's all going in the same place. So you might as well. Yeah, just put you're it one of those. You want to go in the garage? I actually got a sweet scooter. Let's see. You ready? This is uh, the Challenger X. Uh, I get 20 miles to the battery. Where do you drive this? Um, I drive it everywhere, actually. Um, it's actually out of commission right now. I uh, got the the key thing jammed in there. Huh. But it goes uh, 18 miles good. an hour. Because I would probably ask to ride this, and that would be a disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a good driver? I am pretty good. The turning on this thing is a bit of a struggle. Um, but I mean, you kind of figure it out as you go. Do you do your own laundry? I do. You do? Yeah. When did you start doing your own laundry? When I was like 12. You're a big boy. This is just another guest bedroom. It's got like the little bed. Uh... Bedroom? Yeah, I don't know. What's this called where oh, it comes off the wall? Oh, out bed. Yeah, yeah, it's got one of those. What's this gold football? Uh, I think that was from when we won the conference championship in college. Your draft photo. So you were the number three pick. Yes. Of the draft. Were you upset you fell to three? No. No? I was excited. But you weren't one. It's okay. You know, finish right. your last, Ricky Bobby. That's my motto. Is it? Yes. If you do, if you are not winning, you quit. So, what's your favorite pair of sneakers in here? If I had to pick one pair. Yes. Oh, it'd have to be the PF Flyers. I like. Do you have the Ye the Kanye shoes? No. No, I'm not cool enough. First of all, they're Adidas. And, and you only do Nikes. And I'm with Nike, so I can't do it. Oh, you're sponsored. Second of all, aren't they like three hundred dollars? I don't know, but if someone sent them to me, I would love that. Somebody sent them to me. Best pair of shoes ever made right here. Converse. PF Flyers, guaranteed to make you run faster and jump higher. You, you running those? Sandlot? No. Oh Told you, I'm not a movie girl. What is wrong with you? Is there a female trend that you think is so ugly? Something that girls wear that you think has got to go? Yeah, the, the onesies. What are they called? Rompers? Yes. Get that out. Why? Because they're hard to take off? No, they're just ugly. <laughs> they're also hard to take off. But, I mean, I guess you could just go all the way up through the bottom, but they're just not that good looking, I don't think. So what's one fashion trend that girls wear that you think looks really good? That I like? Mm -hmm. um, ooh. Like, I'm not a fashionista. I'm not asking you to be. Like, but, you're a man, like you, or you're a boy, I forgot, you're 23. You could but say you, man. Okay. Big daddy. But you're, you're a big mm -hmm. daddy. So if you look at, like, you just, you're a guy, you know it looks good. It doesn't have to be, like, something trendy. Like, I like when girls wear, I don't know, like, yoga pants. Yoga pants are good. Anything tight. Okay. Tight's good. Tight's in. So this is your room. This is. What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Um, usually just piss okay uh <laughs> after that <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah so i'll roll over i like it because the sun rises right here right yeah. so it kind of wakes me up in the morning i'll kind of just look out there uh if you have sleepovers you up. definitely make her sleep on that side so you get the view right, right. yeah no doubt okay no what doubt. do you keep in your bedside table in my bedside table um i, I think just extra phone chargers oh uh, nothing i can nothing um, good yeah i don't think there's any <laughs> Dildos. No. Condoms? No, no games. No, uh, what's that? Fifty Shades of Grey? Did you read that? No, I just moved in, so I'm not, you know, I don't have everything. I'm so in a I month there'll be dildos. Monitor. Yeah, yeah, maybe toys later. Okay. Do you know what we were, me and my friends were talking about the other day? It was like a group of guy and girls, and we were talking about, like, keeping condoms at your house, because we're saying, like, when guys keep condoms, like, a, if a girl walks in and sees, like, a giant box of condoms, you're like, yo, this guy has so much sex. Like, right. Why does he have a giant box of condoms there? But then, like, that would, if you didn't, then it's like, ew, does he have sex with everyone without a condom? Or does he not have sex? Yeah. See, I think that's why you just strategically place them throughout the house. So you think, you want people to think you, you don't. 
Cause then like, and then one of my girlfriends was like, yeah, I buy condoms. I'm like, ew, like you can't keep condoms at your house, but then you always want to be safe because right. if they don't have a condom, like, yeah. I mean, I don't really know about this stuff. This stuff is, this, isn't you. this is like not anywhere near my <laughs> life right now, but you know. Do you drunk eat? You can throw that in. Um, drunk eat? No. I mean, I like to eat just as much as the next drunk guy, but I wouldn't say I overdo it. So, like, if you had the choice to, like, go home with a girl or go get food? Am I going to get food by myself or am I with friends? With boys. Uh, what's the girl look like? <laughs> like, there's things that go into the decision. Are you single right now? I am. Didn't you have a girlfriend? I did. For a long time. Yeah, we dated, uh, we dated in high school, and then on and off in college, and then actually we're dating when I got drafted, and then broke up shortly after. I'm sorry. So we still keep in contact though, and- Your friends. Remain friends, yeah, yeah. Were you heartbroken? Um, I was okay. So you broke up with her as well? No, I mean, it was like a mutual thing. We just, you know, decided we were gonna do different things, and um, you know, if it happens to work out again in the future, so be it. You know, we were on good terms and still are, so that was cool. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go inside before my hair gets frizzy. Okay. I can already see that it looks bad. I I'll like tell you back. what looks bad is these damn pit stains. Check this shit out. Change your shirt. Put that on the outtakes. Thanks. Okay, so how vain are you on a scale of one to ten? How what? Vain. What's that mean? Vain. Like vanity is like. All right, I have to make sure my hair looks good, my face looks good. Like, I care about my skin, um, I care about my hair. Like, it's caring about yourself. Yeah, zero. You zero on a scale one to ten. Zero fucks given. Okay, cool. That, no, I don't really care. I kind of just wake up and put whatever on. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a job to where I don't have to wear a shirt and tie every day, so. That's true. Yeah, I wear like, I wear a suit eight times a year to our Game eight days. away games. That's it. So like, do you, when you ever like rush in a touchdown, do you have a touchdown dance? Uh, no, I got nothing. Okay, so if you were a receiver, what would be your touchdown dance? If I was a receiver? I mean, I can't dance. It doesn't have to be, it just, I'd you know, like Gronk does the spin. spike. You want me to spike it in here? No, you don't I have to spike, spike. And, and ruin your house, but what would be yours? Would you be a spiker? I, just, oh. I don't know. <gasps> that was good. No, I know what mine would be. What would it? Mine's really thought out. I've thought about this for a really long time. So. Like, I love babies. So I've seen people like cradle the football, which is super cute. Mine would be the whole thing. Like, I don't even think I could get it. Are you getting it out of the stomach? So first mine would be pregnant. Okay. Then I'd go like this right. and I'd have the baby. And you're dropping the baby, like you're not catching it as it, it would go comes through. Out. Well, I would need like, so I would need like backup. Like someone stand under, under my legs. Right. Like, I birth the baby. Right, and they bring it go to you. Go like this, okay. kiss it, throw it up in the air. Like it would yeah, be a yeah. whole like baby skin. Maybe like yeah, breastfeeding action or something. Oh, you could add that's that a good there. idea. Like yeah. that. <laughs> you know, I should try out to be your kicker. Do it. I think so you like got a shot. the kicking in the NFL kind of sucks right now. I think it's down a little bit, obviously, with the rule change and the extra point. I think you got a shot though. So I feel like anyone could be good at it if you just like practice enough. I mean, is there anyone in the league that you would like love to have on your team as an offensive weapon? As an offensive weapon? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I like our offensive weapons. Well, that's yeah, right I, I know, I know. That's the right answer. Are you into Instagram? I have an Instagram. Who's your Instagram crush? Me? You are. Thank you. But I mean, it's kind of, but now you're out of the category because we've met. Right. Oh, I'm not a fantasy anymore. Right, the real right, life right. was disappointing enough. <laughs> no. Charlotte McKinney. Yeah. What's she from? Arby's? Hardee's. So your type is blonde hair, big boobs. <sighs> it's all falling into place. Busty and blonde. Busty and blonde with tight ends. Natural. And good hands. Naturally busty blondes. Naturally busty blondes. All right. Blake, is winning better than sex? Is winning better than sex? You didn't say that really good. Uh, 